I've been at the plant since 1995. Since April of 2006. Done the same job 39 years. 42, 43 years. I've been in our plant 21 years. I am a third generation glass factory worker. My father-in-law was a maintenance man who worked there for 32 years. My mother actually just retired from the plant. She had uh, 18 years of service there. I have a son that just started uh, last year. My mother and father both retired two years ago from the Dunkirk plant. A lot of family ties and there's a lot of roots in the glass industry. We take pride in what we do here and we've done our best to, to make a good quality product to give to the customers. Glass is it's pure, it's iconic, uh, it's 100% recyclable 100% of the time. It's good to work in the glass industry and make an eco-friendly container that's uh, not harmful to the environment and can be recycled an infinite number of times. We encourage recycling. We want people to know what our product is made of, that when you look through a bottle, you see everything that's in it. All I can tell people, buying glass, you know, it's, it's, it keeps it tasting better. That's what makes glass special is, you know, uh, only the best comes in glass, if you remember that old saint. We all use half these products that we have. If we don't make good bottles and something's wrong with it, not only could we be hurting, you know, customers in general in our job, but that bottle could be in our hand at one point in time. Glass is life, that's, that's our slogan. That's the company slogan, that's our slogan, that's how we feel. Plants have been good to my family. They do help with things in the community. If we have fundraisers, they always donate something to it. There's a good majority of our community that knows someone that works there or has worked there themselves. We've managed to keep this industry here in this small town. It's a boon to this county. It draws people together. This plant has been here a long time. It's supported this community a long time. This is the last good manufacturing plant that you're going to make a good living out of. I've provided for my family well over the years. We're bringing in newer faces every day, uh, trying to teach them the things they need to know to be successful at our plant. We're like one big happy family at the plant, you know. Uh, everybody loves everybody, you know. We get along, you know, and it's just a good place to work. You know, I'm about to retire, and I hate to leave it, but I got to go. <laughs> People from the community, kids come in. My kids have came in and, you know, think that what we do is just the coolest thing in the world. To them, that's just, you know, like magic. How's that happen? Glass is truly magical. When it comes from the raw materials out of the ground, and when it's melted and heated and it's shaped and it's cooled, and the end product is a finished form container, we take great pride in that trade of long ago years. We're the oldest registered union in the United States at 170 years. This is a way of life for our family. If it would not have been for the, the glass producing, this town may not have even been here. I hope people continue to support the business and buy in glass and recycle their glass so that we can keep thriving like we have been for the past 125 years. A lot of people take for granted glass because it's, it's such an integral part of our everyday life. When I go to a restaurant and they bring out a beer bottle or something, some of the things, first thing I look to see, what did my plant make it? It is in our best interest and the best interest of the company that we put out the best product. We make the best and we give the best, not only to ourselves and for ourselves, but for everyone.